today we had an idea about increasing the traction and the usability of the power wheel. And we have a solution we've come up with. We've seen many others, but after a lot of research and development, we've come up with this. And that is we're going to apply a rubber to this hard plastic wheel to uh, help the kids get more traction and mobility, both on the concrete hard surfaces and the turf areas. What we've done and works really well on this particular uh, tire size, because we have two different tire sizes, front and back, we found that the 29 inch mountain bike tire works perfectly. It actually does two tires. It does one back and one front and works out with almost no waste at all. So we had to explain to you about the 29 inch tire and the reason we do that is because like I was telling you, we got we can get two tires out of it. Now we've seen other methods that use a like a 12 and a half inch mountain bike tire per each wheel. And um, what we discovered is that it's much less expensive if you just use that one 29 inch mountain bike tire. It, you save about four to eight dollars on one installation of the vehicle. And so that is the reason why we went to a 29 inch tire instead of little individual 12 and a half. What you do is you take the tire and you cut through the cord to cut the tire cord and then it flattens the tire out. And then to make it lay flat on this tire, the wheel, you take and you cut the bead off of each side. We cut in about an inch around the tire, the whole length of the tire now. And since we've cut the tire in half, we have just one big length of tire, okay? And so we're cutting about an inch off the bead, and we found that the 10 snips, regular standard 10 snips, work really, really well. And you just cut along the whole length of the tire until we get done and then it'll be able to lay on the tire. So, so now we've completed, as you can see, we've cut the beads off of both sides of the tire and now the tire will lay completely flat and that's really necessary to make a good wrap on the tire. So we're going to start with the rear and we're going to center up the, the center seam of the tire on the center seam of the plastic wheel. And we put in some, uh, we start off with just some anchor screws right here on each end to get us started. And we found that a regular screw drill, we're using drywall screws, uh, coarse thread, seems to really grab the plastic and, and do, do well. So now that we have it anchored off, we can start. And what we've done is take it and get a hold of the tire and do a stretch and kind of give it some stretch. It really flattens it out and lays it down. And we just anchor it one across from the other as we work ourselves around the wheel. And so we will now just continue to work around in this fashion, stretching and then anchoring, finding a and if you also set the clutch real light on your drill driver, it, you hear that ratchet, it doesn't uh, strip the screws out. They get a good bite in the plastic. Okay, and we've met where we started. This is our start line. And I also wanted to mention that it's really helpful if you have an able-bodied assistant that's really good at doing the drill driver because it's kind of a two-person job, one to stretch and keep it aligned and one to fasten it off. So now we've come, here's our line. So now we've come and we just lay this over where we get the blend line here. Take our snips and just find out where your, about where your line is. I like to cut straight through the tread so you don't cut through the knobbies. And it'll make a really, and this is really tough right through the middle. It's where all the cord is for the tire. But these snips do a really good job. <clears throat> now we have almost a perfect blend here. And all we'll do now is stretch that and, sh and we'll uh, screw that off. I'll give that double layer right there. Right, right there, yeah. And we'll grab another one, maybe right back in there. And there you go. And now we have one continuous high grip tire. Now the beautiful part about using this 29 inch tire is the remainder of the spoils we cut off the first one exactly fit the diameter of the smaller front tire. 
so you have almost virtually no waste. See how this wraps around and it meets. Now when I stretch, when I, as I gain stretch around, it'll meet. Plus I'm going over top of this one. Okay, so this is the uh, last remaining tire to do the wheel to do, and this is on the front. We're using that remaining rubber we had from the rear wheel. And so we're gonna just continue now. Did I mention the part about an able-bodied assistant? <laughs> Focus. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and continue to stretch now. And, and just repeat what we did, the same exact procedure. We're putting these, we're fastening these screws, uh, you know, about six inches apart. It seems to support the, the rubber and keep it flatter that way. You always got to make sure you keep it aligned too and it doesn't come off center. And then we'll just stretch some more like this. Okay, we're just continuing to stretch here and uh, we're gonna come right around here to the green line. All right, so here we, we're gonna come right. And as you see now, we have made up enough length just by getting some of the stretch out of the rubber. We have a slight overlap. And we really don't want that because it'll make a bump in the, in the ride when it comes around. So what we'll do is the same procedure we did before. Thank you. We'll take the shear We'll kind of match up here and find out where our line is with this piece here. Kind of guesstimate it's going to be a cut right through here, missing the knobs. And it'll be just about perfect for this. These 10 snips really do a good job. We've tried other things. These really work the best. And now we have a line right there. And we stretch her in there and she'll fasten it off here. And there you have it. You have a complete assembly. We have all four tires done now. Have a good track.